Michelle here from the Brave Homeschooling Mama. Welcome back to my channel. Today is week three of a collaboration that I'm hosting with April from the Simple Rugged Path and Ashley from Joyful Noise Living. Um, and the collaboration is review of uh, uh, homeschool curriculum review subject by subject. And each week, uh, this is our third week, so each week we've been coming in here and just sharing uh, what we have used for for the school year, what things that we like, and just telling you if we're going to use this or not for next school year. So make sure you go back and check the playlist so you can check what we did for the last two weeks. The first week we did science and last week we did history and geography and this week we're doing language arts and next week we're doing math so make sure you stay tuned for that so make sure to check that playlist so you can see everyone's reviews and also check the ladies ashley's and april's channel for more uh, homeschool encouragement and motivation they have amazing channels they're amazing ladies so today we're doing language arts and I want to start by showing you really quick what I did with my little one. I have a preschooler. He's going to be starting kindergarten in the fall and we just finished. Uh, it took us forever to do this because we took some breaks and he's five and when we started this it was four. So we did this very slowly at his pace whenever he wanted to work. If you have a preschooler, you know, you cannot push them too much. You know, you don't want to push a preschooler to do school, right? I don't. Um, so we finally finished this today. This level K primer for the good and the beautiful. And this was just absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Um, in this uh, curriculum, we work on mastering our letters. If you, to be able to do this, you should at least know the, your letter, uh, your letters. So we worked on letters. We worked on letter sounds. We mastered numbers 1 to 15. And he's able to do more than that. Learn long and short vowel sounds. He's a little bit confused on that, but you don't have to master it to pass to the next level. Read simple words and simple sentences, rhyming, sorting, and more. Okay. And this also came with a little reader. I didn't bring it in, but just a little reader, and he did really well with that. So uh, he loved this. Why it took us so long? And like I said, because he's five and he just some days he doesn't want to do school. But we also were uh, doing a review for um, Memoria Press. Um, first reading curriculum for preschool for you know kindergarten so we started with that and I will put it I did a, a review so I'll put that on top so we took a break from this because we're working on that but then I decided that I wanted to finish this and we did today and and we will be continuing using the good and the beautiful at least for next year for kindergarten I think he's ready um, is this a little bit the good and the beautiful a little bit advanced but I think he will do well with it uh, he he's he knows a lot of the things he, he needs to know for you know kindergarten already and so i'm pretty proud of him uh, he's my little 24 weeker so of course it's just like amazing where he is right now but um yeah so we'll be doing that and i already have the level k and if you want me to do a quick little walkthrough of that i will i didn't do an un unboxing i opened it and they didn't do an unboxing but i i can show you what what it looks like on the inside and then i'll show you again once i show you everything i'm using with him and then at the end of next school year i'll do a review okay so for this yes level k primer this is a great kind of starting point if your kid is knows a little bit of knows a lot of the skills that they need for preschool but not ready for you know kindergarten it's a great stepping stone for you know kindergarten so if you're looking for something for your preschooler that is as knows a lot of the preschool things this is a great um, curriculum okay so next I have what I'm what I did with my daughter for language arts and we of course we did brave writer we did some thinking tree we did a thinking tree journal and so I want to share those with you I want to start by saying we didn't do as many we only did two I feel like we only did one and a half but we didn't do many um, writing projects from brave writer last year we didn't finish a partnership writing we did we did a couple of those last year I wanted to finish it this year but we didn't I had all these plans of all these writing projects I was going to do with my daughter and in all honesty they didn't get done at the beginning of the school year we did a she did like a care guide for her reptile and she did really good with that and where she typed all the information to take take care of her pet uh, lizard and then we just finished a lap book it was the first time doing a lap book um, it's not very involved it's very simple and we have never done one before she's never done one before so we we, we did it together and I kind of walk her through that that's all that we did for like writing projects we didn't do anything else and I feel like a, such a failure for that in that aspect we could have done a lot more i have the resources to do more i just it just didn't happen so my plan oh but we did do a writing online writing class which it was really good i think i shared that with you already and that was a success it was really good so i'm planning on signing her up for more uh for next school year with brave writer so that was it that's all we did for writing um so we did grammar 
what we use for grammar we don't use a grammar curriculum we use the brave writer arrow guides and the arrow guides are literature uh, guides that you use that you pair with a literature so the last one we did was from the mix of files of miss franco mrs basically franco waller great book if you haven't read it you must it's really fun easy to read really fun and so we paired it with the arrow guide so the arrow guide is separated into four weeks you get four weeks of uh, copy work passages and you use those passages to work on you know so you do your copy work and as you do your copy work every week you are working on spelling you are working on grammar um do you work on some you know uh, literary elements so we use the passage that one passage to work on all those things okay at the beginning of the week we talk about the passage and it tells you in the guide exactly why they pick this passage um what to note about the passage how to teach the passage and it gives you a grammar some grammar notes okay so i what i do i go through the passage we dissect it we look at nouns we look at verbs adjective pronouns that we highlight them in different colors and that's kind of how we dissect it and we copy it and then at the end of the week we do uh, i um, dictate it to her so that's what we do for grammar it is uh kids learn grammar by and good spelling by copying good literature so that's all we have been doing and i have noticed a big change in her writing even when the little things that she does like text or a little notes that she writes i have noticed a difference so copy work works if you are not used to it maybe you know um, start it i need to add a little bit more enchantment to our copy work um, we just kind of just copy it and there's no we don't like candles or use any special pens or paper we just kind of do it but it works uh, copy work is just like I guess it's a great way to learn grammar and spelling by copying good copy work and my plan is for next year of course we're going to continue the boomerangs and uh, I'm sorry the arrow guides and move a little bit into the boomerangs I think she's ready uh, we did one this year so we only did the copy work for the boomerang um, some of the things were a little bit more advanced so we'll continue with the arrows and maybe do a couple of boomerangs and but we will we'll continue you know doing this it's such so great to pair a good work of literature and we're still doing i read these books to her but maybe next year i'm gonna have her i plan on doing this this year but i didn't of me of reading it you know separate like i'll read and she reads and then we come together and talk about it and then i'll help her with the with the guide so so i'm gonna plan how i want to do it I, I haven't decided yet but i think she's ready especially if we got some get some arrow books get the ones that are shorter and we can work and she can work on that you know by herself on the reading so that's one of the things and this and like i said the arrow guys have four weeks of those passages there's some questions in here the newer ones have questions to ask your kids at the end the big juicy questions at the end and the ones from last year on have um book club party school ideas okay but you can also the older ones you can find so many things online and you 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 come up with things about how to come up with a book party i have some videos of how i did a book party last last school year about i uh, the one and only ivan i'll post that also and i have a video also on how i go through how I get how I go through this guys and how I get ready for them every week and I'll post some post those at the end and I'm sure I'll make a new one because I think I did it last year or the year before so I think I want to make a new one just kind of refresh and refresh my memory too so I'll, I'll be making those really soon and the last thing we use for grammar is uh, we use this thinking tree journal we use the top 30 grammar mistakes do it yourself homeschooling journal and there's 20 30 grammar mistakes in here and we just go through them in a very gentle way so what we do so at the end at the beginning there's a question uh it says how do i know when to use by by or by okay with different spellings right different words and it gives you an explanation on when to use the different ones usually there's a picture in the bottom and then on the next page your child has to come up with their write a silly rhyme a sentence or another way to help you remember the rules she usually just writes a sentence just kind of uh, going over you know the rule can she she writes a sentence using the rule that's what she's been doing and sometimes she'll uh, she'll drop it or you can draw a picture sometimes she did a picture for a couple of them I think let me show you let's see we didn't do many of the pictures but we did some pictures for some of them Okay, no, I don't see any. 
But anyway, yeah, she did a picture. She didn't do many pictures, but she did, you know, the sentence. So you have the option to do or do both or do just, you know, the picture. So it has 30 grammar mistakes in here that you can work. We haven't finished this, so we we'll probably just finish, keep working on this from now to the end of the school year and or finish it next school year. These are fun. My daughter enjoys them. It's a really easy and enjoyable things that you can do. So I'll put a, a link where you can get those um, below. I will also put a link. So you can get um, uh, arrow guides for the Brave Writer. I, I am a Brave Writer ambassador. So if you click on that link and you purchase something, I get a percentage back. It just helps uh, you know my family. So if you're interested, but in there you can also get a free one that you can try out. Uh, I think that you know for a boomerang and arrow guide that you can get for free to try with your family to see if this is something that you know, some, something that you can do, you know, with, with your children. So if you're interested, I will put my ambassador and link below. And, and like I said, it just helps my family. It's nothing extra. It just helps my family a little bit with a percentage of that, of that purchase. Okay. So, so thank you so much. This is what we do. And our plan, of course, will continue with the arrow guys. We'll finish this. Uh, I plan on adding a couple more things and I will share that with you in a different video and where I share what we'll be doing for next school year. Exciting that we'll have to do two videos this year for my kindergarten and my uh, middle school eighth grader. And I will also, like I said, we did, yeah, we, we did the online classes and I was going to do a review on that and I never did. So maybe I will come in here again and talk a little bit more of those online classes because we will do, I'm planning on doing two Brave Rider online classes, okay? So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you go below into this, uh, into the description box and check the ladies channels and check the playlist I, I can wait to see what everyone is doing for grammar and for language arts and come back next week so you can see what we're doing for math and go back and check the ones that we did last two weeks okay thank you so much for watching and i will see you all in my next video